tell me more about peak performance psychology. How would you describe peak performance psychology in a nutshell? Sure. Well, I, I guess I would think of myself and what I do is, you know, I basically just coach athletic entrepreneurs um, as well as professionals and like leadership performance, personal fulfillment. And I make a distinction because I think that there uh, is a very good field out there in life coaching. I think that's really important. I don't really cater to that so much. I learned very early on that I really loved working with enterprising, high-performing individuals, whether that was in athletics. Like when I was a personal trainer, just coming out of high school, I worked simultaneously in a gym, um, working with the general public, as well as working with kind of high-octane athletes, right? Um, collegiate athletes, a football team. And I love the mentality. I love the mindset that these people had batteries included. They came to play. I didn't have to talk them into anything. They didn't need to be motivated. They showed up with that. And I absolutely love that. So I think of peak performance and psychology as really taking people who already have an edge and getting that little extra bit and that little extra bit. And frankly, the higher performing you are, the harder it is to get those gains, right? Whenever we take on something new, if you take on a new sport, um, it's, or just a new craft of any type, it's easy to make a lot of progress in the beginning because you're a beginner. And, and so you can see a lot of great progress, but the higher up that chain you get, you know, Olympic athletes, they might train for four years to shave a hundredth of a second off of a time. And so I really love working with people who are kicking butt in life and high performers already. And that's really who I specialize in helping as opposed to more like the general public.